Hello, I'm Lucy from BookX and I'm here today with my review of All We Ever Wanted by Emily Giffen. All We Ever Wanted is the ninth novel by internationally best-selling author Emily Giffen. Now, Emily traditionally is called a chiclet writer, really, which is a term that I absolutely hate because it's sort of a bit derogatory, really. Um, and actually, what is going on inside this book is a lot more complex, I think, and has a much broader appeal, really, than I think the term chiclet sort of in indicates that it would do. If you are interested in getting away from hideous terms like chitlit to define the type of books you read or just to find um, other sort of things that would really suit your taste based on what's inside the books, not what's on the covers, then please do check out bookaxe.com and the apps. They are completely free and we will get you the absolute best recommendations to suit your personal taste. Now, on to this book. It is set in Nashville in a community um, that is really, really wealthy, proper elite Nashville. And it centers around um, events um, that involve some students at a very expensive, very exclusive private school. It's told from three perspectives. One is the mother of a student at um, this Windsor Academy. One is the father of a different student at Windsor Academy. And one is the daughter um, of that father rather than the mother. So the mother is Nina, the father is Tom, the daughter is Lila. And what happens on happens really early on in the novel is that um, Lila goes to a party and she drinks far too much as teenagers often do. But on this occasion, somebody takes a photo of her passed out um, and semi-clothed. And this photo goes completely viral. It gets totally out of control. And the story really is about uncovering, or the plot of the story is about uncovering really who took this photo and um, what is gonna be done to that person, whether justice is gonna be um, served. But the themes of this novel are really about um, whether privilege gets in the way of justice, I think. And also how um, our relationships with our family can be challenged by our moral viewpoints of the world, really. So how our values um, differ from other people, how they're the same as other people, and what we can do when we recognise that our values are different from the people that we love, um, if indeed we can do anything at all. I thought that this was a really enjoyable, entertaining, page-turning read. It looks at those um, big themes um, and also themes around sort of class, um, class and status and wealth and misogyny, I guess, as well in society, um, particularly in teenage society, I think, um, and has a lot of sort of contemporary um, relevance in terms of the way that it looks at those. But also the plot is made really dynamic by the fact that we switch between these three really engaging viewpoints that are each told with really distinct voices. And actually I liked all three of the voices. I liked the characters um, and I was rooting for all three of them really, even though at times they were actually um, quite abruptly at odds. But I also liked the voices in which the, the, the author um, told their stories. I thought that she got those absolutely spot on, at least for the adults. There were occasions when I felt that Lila's voice wasn't quite believably 17. It wasn't sort of always what I, sort of the idiom chosen wasn't perhaps the that, that of a teenager I felt, but overall the effect was really good. And by switching between those three viewpoints, really, um, 
pa in a pacey way, it definitely kept me turning the pages. The other thing that I would say is that I can absolutely tell that Emily Giffen is a pro. This is her ninth novel, and my goodness, you can tell she has got this down to a fine art. It is so slick and smooth, and the way she writes is just effortless that does not come or that so rarely comes sort of with debut novels or early on in people's careers there is not a word wasted in this novel there is not a word out of place it's not flowery it's not you know the kind of novel where there's loads of metaphors and similes and reams and reams of description it's pretty to the point um, and not written um, in a way that embellishes sort of the main plot or the main characters, but what it has in abundance is just confidence. It knows what it is supposed to be doing and it absolutely smashes it out of the park. At the beginning of this re review, I did um, say that I really disliked the term chiclet. I can understand why books are labelled in that way. I can kind of understand why this book is labelled in that way because I do think, you know, the audience probably will be predominantly female just because, firstly, of the way the book's inevitably going to be marketed, but also I do think the content probably will appeal more to a female audience in terms of um, the issues that Lila is facing, having had her photograph plastered around, but also Nina dealing with sort of the implications in her family, sort of the social fallout, I guess, does have sort of a feminine focus. And I've actually read two books recently that are similar in a way, and the first of which was A Place for Us by Fatimir Farin Mirazam. And her book has been described sort of as, as a very literary book, but it addresses the same social, family dynamic type of themes, admittedly with a lot more flowery language, but it's looking at the same issues. And also Bear Town by Frederick Barkman, very similar in certain ways because they have an act of violence that div divides a town. And in this book, there is this photograph that divides divides the community and forces people um, to take sides. Generally, really thoroughly entertained by this book. And I would recommend it to anyone who is looking for sort of a fairly quick read, one that gets straight to the point, um, but one that has a good warm heart and a cracking relevant storyline that definitely delivers on emotion despite not having all the sort of flowery language that goes around it. So, All We Ever Wanted by Emily Giffen, definitely a very good read. I would love to know what you guys um, thought of this book, if you've already read it, or if you're thinking of picking it up too, please do talk to me in the comments below and share your thoughts. In the meantime, do check out bookaxe.com and the apps completely free, and I'll see you soon for another review. Bye!